Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 17 of Let's Play Minecraft 1.710. So we got to do some more videos here. I've been getting a little behind over time, which is completely fine, but uh, yeah, I just want to get into it a bit more. Um, I'm thinking of playing around with a bit of IC, maybe even going very vanilla IC. So I got everything set up here. Um, I did get the 4K uh, EA storage. Uh, one of them, well, what I ended up doing was making about a stack of each of those crystals. You can see I have 63 here and 32 of these. I used 32 of them up, uh, though there, there's still tons of them in here, 21. You remember I had to make the calculation processors, um, which worked actually really decently. Um, I went and spat all the seeds basically right here. I just went crazy and put them all around here. And it worked out actually. It was kind of funny, but uh, yeah, that's what I went ahead and did, uh, just so I could let them grow overnight instead of bothering with that silly growth thing. Because it was a pain in the ass. It would start stacking. It wouldn't grow properly. I don't know. Maybe you can stack them and grow, but I don't think so. I think they have to be unstacked, and they keep stacking when they're near each other. And the growth thing, as far as I know, can only be adjacent water blocks. So. I just thought, hey, why don't I just litter the ocean over there, the surface of it, and just go ahead and pick it all up when I wake up. And that's what I did. Because remember, they don't despawn. So that's kind of the beauty of them anyways. There might be other techniques that you can go through. I have no clue. I just thought that would be the way I would go anyways for now. So uh, I've been making a bunch of smooth stone. I'm um, going to need some. So yeah. That's going to be for our roofing, so I've just been plowing those in there just to get them ready for later. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, I, oh yeah, and I dumped all the chests into here. And you can see these drives are f full, 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 but they're not full of, uh, they're full of types, but they're not full of actual data, which is good, because that means you can load them up quite a bit now, uh, especially since we probably have a lot of varieties of items now that you're not going to get so many more unique items to keep filling up the drives so uh, now they have a lot of storage capacity so that's a good thing I think um, to me anyways I could probably start doing something like this too we but we were putting a lot of stacked items in here and we could probably start going like this so we got one two let's see we got four yellow uh, block. Let's let's try it anyways. I want to unstack everything. I'm gonna have to anyways eventually, just because. Um... Oops. Just because, yeah. Holy crap! I have 280 blocks of redstone. I didn't realize that. A bit enough to actually undo them all, but whatever. Because now when we do recipes, they take uh, bars, so it's better just to unstack everything so it's easier to manipulate anyways. Uh, we need to do that with a graphite. Well, actually, yeah, I mean, everything is going to be... All that lapis I have. Okay, oh, all that tin. I think that's probably it then for most of it. So we <clears throat> actually probably saved some room. Who knows for sure, but um, if you actually went back, there might have been a couple slots saved. So there you go. Um, it's beautiful. So yeah, I was looking into industrial craft, or thinking of looking at industrial craft. I thought we'd just go really basic, start with the basics. Um, why not, right? Now, I probably should do an IC room, and I probably will, but I'll probably just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll build it in here for now, and later on, if I need to grow a lot, I will go further out and expand. But, um, like I said, I really want to go with the, the, the most hardcore basics possible. So we're going to actually start with, say, you know, the iron plates, um, etc. The iron plates are made out of a hammer. So you might as well make a couple of these because you're going to end up using them quite a bit, at least to begin with. Uh, 
they use a lot of durability up on those, but that that's fine. That won't, that won't bother us too much. So let's go ahead and actually, I don't know, let's do a stack of these. Nice thing is this will call out the tools again. So like, let's say, oh, I need to make more, right? Um, it'll keep calling the tools, but it'll, it'll even call the broken one up eventually. Um, so you don't have to worry it's going to be picky and choosy. Here, I guess this is going to be the last one. It probably likes to pick the one with the most durability. There you go. So it'll keep calling them. And when you build a stack of them, for example, if I did another stack, it would break that hammer and pick up another hammer and use its durability as far as I remember. So it's actually very talented and smart in the building area, especially with NEI, because let's just say I have some of the recipes for this, but not all of it. Uh, where did the furnace jump to, okay? So if I go like this, it'll build as much as it can, it'll try to build as much as it's, you know, can, which is awesome. Um, cause usually it's like, no, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Uh, it's just against the law, you know. Well, this makes it a little better for us, so that's great. There we go. Oh, actually, I didn't replace the hammer, so I lied about that. <laughs> okay, which is good. I didn't actually want it to go crazy anyways there. So, uh, back to the furnace, back to the furnace. Uh, you're going to make an iron furnace, which is pretty cheap, but we don't have any um, normal furnaces, so we can just go like this. You tend to make a lot of these. Who cares if you make almost a stack of it? I say go for it for later. Uh, there you go. Just for later. Do, 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 do. So there's the furnace. Then you just dump everything back in there so you can work with it. And uh, do, 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 do. it's way up here, isn't it? Yep. Now we got to make a battery. Now the battery is going to be more complicated because we got to make the tin cable, which we've never made tin cable because we've never made wire snippers. Never made wire snippers because we just made them now. Um, so yeah, nice. I'm getting the achievements for this. This is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I think. Oh yeah, we can put the rubber together. The nice thing is it uses that RF rubber too. So that's kind of good because we have some of that around. Uh, I don't know how much we have. I got a bit. I can probably do something with this too. I'm going to also show you another way to produce rubber over time here. One that I like and enjoy doing, so. Uh, I guess this is going to be busy for a while, but we can. We actually, we can just go like this and be like, ah, you know what? We're going to butt in there just in case if we need it. There you go. Just get something to eat. Okay, so uh, we're on the go here. Um, what were we making last? Battery, I guess, right? So we're ready for that battery, I assume. Rawr. There we go. Actually, we did that part, didn't we? So we're making the actual battery now. Ta-da! Throw that in there, and it should actually detect even has an entity ID, or yeah, a little uh, NBT data, or whatever you want to call it. Ta-da! It should still work, and it looks like it does. Now, I'm not sure if the crescent hammer works on this. I hope so. Let's find out. No. So you're gonna have to probably make like an IC wrench, unfortunately. So you can go over here to see what the wrench looks like. Uh, there it is. So it's bronze, bronze, bronze. Not a problem, we have some of that. So uh, this is the IC generator. It is just a normal generator. Um, you go here and you give it coal and it produces power. Simple. Uh, the next thing you want to start doing is things like uh, different tools. So uh, we have a grinder, for example. Um, it might be better if we just go and type it in so you can start seeing them. So there's a rotary macerator and here's your normal macerator. Normal macerator, they have machine blocks, by the way. And they're common, so we'll just dump three of them in there because we're going to use them a lot. This here uh, is going to require us new wires. Uh, we haven't done copper, actually, so uh, let's go do that now, shall we? There you go. And then let's go get our wires, shall we? Um, doot, doot, uh, doot. There you go. Let's stack of them. And then... These you'll do really common, so 
yep. <laughs> it's like I decided, yeah, yep, gonna do it. And then we're gonna make a crap ton of these. Well, five. It's as many as we could make with what we had. Um, okay, and that's it, I think, yep. And let's get the copper cable because we're gonna need it. Actually, let's just use the tin cable since we have some, and tin cable is actually gonna be cheap as hell right now. And I'm changing my layout of everything. I used to put them right against walls, now I've been doing them one space, haven't I? I like that, it gives you opportunities to do things with it over time, basically. Like, I could just wire the wire here, or I'll probably put it under it like a normal person, but I'm just saying that, I don't know, it gives me more room and flexibility. I used to be too busy throwing things into walls, and I think that was a bit of a mistake on my part, so this is how I'm going to try to do it now. So here we go. That's a generator. So mix these blocks around it, and I, ha, there we go, generator, and then macerator, and you can put it right beside it, won't hurt, and the macerator, oh, look at this, it's a tool pit. Compatible upgrades, overclocker, transformer, energy storage, ejector. Oh, ejector. I think you can get it to eject from another one block to another. I think that's a new feature, so that's kind of cool. Um, so here we go. We got the generator. Uh, we just need some coal in there, and that's it. That works like that, and uh, it's just like... Uh, let's see what ores I have here. I, just, I don't want to waste some of the ores. I'll just do tin. Uh, it just works like the... Uh, other ones. Oh, oh, that's, ha, can't grind. Uh, there you go. And there it's macerating. It's slow as hell. Most people don't even like doing this anymore because of how painful it is, but uh, either way, that's how it works. <laughs> I just thought, you know, I'd get a set of everything made anyways. Painful, isn't it? But you can get a rotary grinder, for example, which. Uh, is insanely fast so um, things will change. It looks like they've changed up some of the texturing and stuff which is kind of cool. Good for them. It's about time they work on some of that. Now the rotary macerator may blow up so keep that in mind. I don't think that's deactivated so um, if you put too much power into it it might go bye bye. Um, so yeah. That is that. So then you can put electric furnace for example. There's the electric furnace, and uh, another one of these, and there we go. Even hotter topic. So you just place that beside it, and then you can take, you know, your crushed iron and tin, I mean, and put it in there and mace, or, you know, smelt it up. Uh, ejector upgrade. I'm, I'm gonna see how much that is. I wonder if I can just, e oops, get that. Ejector. That's a newer one for me. Um, that's actually pretty cheap. Well, let's hold on the uh, thing for till we try it out. Might be a shitty uh, upgrade though, right? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't go to the right or something. Oh, it definitely went to the right. That's cool. So that's the ejector upgrade, which now puts it into the furnace where then I could end up putting it into um, another ejector upgrade and put it in a chest. So that's kind of handy. We never had that before, so that changes the game a bit for us because we always had to do it in a painful way. You can see it eats a, a decent amount of coal. Um, it's definitely, I would say, not as overpowered as the RF machines, that's for sure. But I think in Endgame you could go even more crazy just because you have things like solar panels, stuff like that. So it kind of balances this way over time. Uh, you also have some special features like uh, the ability to hug people. No, um, like UU Matter, where you can actually take UU Matter and create things like UU Matter. Here it is. Um, you don't have recipes, do you, though? Anyways, you can use it to create things. Um, there's a special machine, and. Uh, you can create like iron ore for example. I wouldn't use that or uh, iridium. Iridium is what you're going to use it for. Iridium. So there's the iridium plate, iridium ore. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. Iron to... Huh. That's new. 
9 million energy. I think it's still cheaper doing it the other way, but that's that's another interesting way of doing it. That's that other mod, the solar panel mod that does that. Huh. Weird. This will show you the recipe for it, but you put it through all this process, but this has definitely changed. Huh. Very interesting. That million energy is an insane amount. It, it'll take a while. Uh, the Mecular, 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 uh, is a very uh, interesting device I wanted to check out, actually. Um, so I think now that we have it, this part, we want to look into powering this a bit more. And to do that, we can do something like lava. Lava is a wonderful way of powering up things. Um, and you can get a decent amount, of course, uh, using an ender, uh, ender pump, is it? Let's just type pump. Pump. And this is probably my favorite pump in the game. It's a bit expensive, but it definitely works out to be the best. And we don't have any obsidian, so we go back to our old house. Because I'm pretty sure we have a crap ton of obsidian. We can also look, make sure we didn't leave anything important there. I'm pretty sure I got it all. I think it's time for a jetpack update upgrade soon too. I'm using this old fashion one still. Ow. Coming in for landing. Okay, so, obsidian. Can't, oh, you know what? We needed these back too, so let's bring these with us. Let's just take our time, shall we? And I actually probably want all these, so we'll just put those into, oh, there it is. I thought I had a baggie on me. There we go. Um. Well, this is sad because I'm pretty sure I had obsidian. I'm not pretty sure. In fact, I I know I had obsidian. But where would it have gone? Because there's nothing. I don't think I could have. Oh wait. Oh, you know what? I macerated it all. I think. Damn it. That's what happened. Um, we macerated it all before because uh, when we did the thing, my bopper, my bopper. I don't have iron on me, do I? Okay, we're gonna have to go back. We're gonna work on something else now, guys. These are all grown because I guess I've been loading these chunks. So, we can make obsidian a few ways actually. Uh, maybe even more actually, I don't know anymore. So obsidian is usually, made. you can make it from the lava cells, it's not worth it. You can use it in this thing, that's kind of cool. Uh, and that's it, okay. Let's go with what we got. Uh, you can ma use a magma crucible, though. Damn. It's not worth it, though. Oh, look at the blaze road. Really cobblestone. Okay, so... We just need to go and get um, some lava. So, where is that tank we had before? I bet you that tank can be upgraded. Was it at the. Did I leave it at the other place? Ah, whatever. We can make a new tank. Tank, 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 tank. There's the ender tank. We're going to make those soon, too. Um, here they are. So, we want to make one of these eventually the better version. So there's the portable, it just uses the same one, right? So here's this one. 
And then here's the next one. Oh crap, we don't have enough for Invar anymore. No. That sucks. Ah, you kind of skipped some of the process. Oh well. So Invar, we need to make. Invar was the dust, wasn't it? Invar blend. Invar, maybe we have some. Invar, no. That was iron. And. Oh, well, at least we have pulverized iron. Iron and. Um, it wasn't silver, it was the other one. Um, whatever, we'll look for it. Ferris or whatever. Nickel, Ferris, yeah. Ellis, there we go. Actually, it'll be good to run some of this in it now I think about it because we can pop this stuff because we're going to get shinies. We'll need it for like upgraded jetpacks, things like that, anyways, eventually here. So, this is the pulverizer. There you go. It won't run because it says, hey, we have a chance to produce like something else, and that won't let us do that. So, please remove it. And now, let's go ahead, and I've been doing this, so I can do <laughs> this. And this is going to be our roof. I've decided, like, we'll need a roof anyways, and I had decided this is what we're going to do for a roof. Uh, because it's, you can't do half slab of the other stone and stuff. I've tried, it won't work. And this, uh, you can use uh, the builder wand with. But for some reason, Railcraft half slabs and other blocks just can't be done like that. So this will let us build our roof incredibly fast. Not only this, if you hit F7, mobs actually cannot spawn on top of this. Um, actually, I think I've had... Damn, it sucks when you don't know if F7's on or off. <laughs> but, because uh, we have a completely lit up right now. But, uh, yeah. Actually, let's go and fix that. There you go. So F7's on. There, now it's off. So there you go. That's going to be our new roof. That'll work a lot better. So we needed a roof eventually anyways. I don't like the whole open concept here too much. And, uh, yeah. I bet you guys love this builder wand after watching this. I'm sure a lot of people would die to be able to build a roof this fast. Especially with half slabs and not having to deal with uh, deal with it too much. Oh yeah, I can. I was trying to do it without... Oh no, we ran out. Either way, I'll continue that off camera. But yeah, that'll be cool. So, uh, oh yeah, we were making all that Envar. And then I got distracted like a kid. There we go. Oh shit, no, 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 no. I'd rather put you guys back in there so you can't do that. No, stop. I'm trying to make the blend, aren't I? There you go. Stop doing that, can. There you go. Now we're making it. We're making it. So I'm just making portable tank. Just makes it easier to travel. Um, though there's better ways of doing this anyway. So I'm just gonna put that out there. This is like not the best tank or anything. It's just what I want to do. Um, reinforced tank. You bastard! They knew I didn't have any more of this fuse quartz. Huh. Or hardened glass. Damn. Fused quartz actually seems like a better deal, even though it's expensive as hell. 
Wait. Oh, it's rotating through all of them, so it's saying I could use fuse quartz, which is just nether. Huh. Um, let's do that. I'd like to actually try that one out. It'd be easier than dealing with the other recipe, especially since it's like eating up all the obsidian. Here I'm trying to do something with obsidian, not eat it all up again. There it goes. Except the part where it's a little slow, but whatever. That is cute. It shows a 3D model of things. Oh, you can even twist it and turn it. And Jesus, this guy needs to go into other mods, I think. All the recipes you can use it for. So there's the quartz. It's a little expensive. Well, not really. Quartz are really easy to get, but it's a little expensive and slow, I guess, in a sense. Because, like, we, we needed to use... Uh, it at first quite a bit, but not as much anymore, so. There you go, I saw we had another ender pearl over here, so. This is such a news for us. I'm slowly farming these. I've gotten, I think, one ender pearl that one time, and I think we did it during a let's play from an enderman. So all these ender pearls have been all from those plants, and they're up to ten. Uh, what did we have originally? Seven or eight? Seven, I think. So over time, we've actually been able to expand it more and more, which is, I think, awesome. Very awesome for us. Let's go over here and we can place some of these tables and stuff down now. Yes. Doesn't matter where. I just do 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 do. Some of the Tinker's Construct stuff. I didn't bring the chest. Oh well. Getting a little hungry there. Nice. So there's our fused quartz, which we can use as glass. Make even the next tank. These tanks are expensive, to be honest, but whatever. No one cares, because... Oh, they've increased them. If I'm reading that right, that's 128 buckets. That means they've really increased them. 512 buckets. Okay, it's 1,000 RMB for a bucket. They, they made these not crappy anymore. So this is 8. This is 32. Yeah, I think it went 8, 16, and then 32, and then like 64 or something, and that's, that's it, but clearly somebody has changed that over time, so that is pretty awesome. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go down, and oh, I'm going to need my, because I think if you break it, you'll lose your uh, hammer or whatever. Uh, you'll lose the contents, but uh, don't do it properly. I'm going to go down and mine it up. Oh, wow. Out of my inventory. We got this to deal with. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go down and mine. I'll probably need to make an actual mine shaft or something. But this is how I go down and mine now. If you can believe it. <laughs> it works. I don't know if I saw lava down here. That's the only downside. But yeah, I'm gonna go and mine and uh, and then get some uh, lava. Hi guys. These guys will never despawn because they've been picking up spiders, bastards. And yeah, so I'm going to go get some lava, fill this up, and then we'll make obsidian, etc. Uh, for the next episode. Um, I'll show you how that's done. There's a special machine which you guys will love the hell out of. And uh, yeah, we'll do other stuff as well, of course. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you... Interesting. This could be like an ink farm. Because they can't survive. They die over time sitting there. Does his health show like it's slowly? I think it's like oxygen, but opposite. So like, you know how we breathe? Well, they breathe water, and after they're out of the water for a while, yeah, there it goes. Huh. Interesting. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you next time.